I think for the driver, he's, he's having to judge all of the factors around him to say what's a safe speed to enter this bend at. And um, he hasn't got a lot of references there to say that, no, you're very close or you've just gone over. And that's one of the biggest issues around in the industry. There's not a lot there to tell you um, just how close you are sometimes. Except for gravity, the, f the main forces that affect trucks come from their movement. Um, centrifugal force acts on trucks whether they're turning, even at parking speeds. It pushes trucks outwards, away from the centre of a turn. Discus and hammer throwers use centrifugal force. Motorcycles lean in against it as they're turning. Even a kid on a swing generates centrifugal force. It's that force that makes the discus, the truck, or whatever is going around to move away from the centre. Centrifugal force increases the faster you go, so the faster athletes can spin, the further they can throw. The faster you go around any given turn, the greater the centrifugal force is pushing you away from the centre of the turn. Of course, trucks are in contact with the road, and the tyres tend to grip to stop them from sliding. They don't stop the force, they just counteract it. But the top of the truck is in contact with anything. So just like the triangle, you push at the top with enough centrifugal force and it will roll over. Obviously, speed comes into it. Um, there can be other circumstances that, you know, it can be an unusual load, it can be a top heavy load, uh, it can be a, just a, a nasty corner with a bit of a dip halfway around it and you might get away with it every other load, but, but a particular load that's got a few other contributing factors come into it. If you're just pushing it just that little bit, you go. When you're going around the corner, if you change your angle of attack, or any sort of steer, any sort of correction, that force is amplified because you're changing the angle. It's not just about the speed, it's the two things to give you the centrifugal force. Here's a good example of that, where the guy has driven down the road and has corrected, thinks he's okay, and then overcorrects again, and you can see it is not much at all. He's corrected, corrects again, and he's gone. That's purely centrifugal force, nothing else.